I was a part of the initial group of the Young Grower Alliance. We started to have meetings just that were educationally based and learn how to come back and, and really start to farm. And that was the founding of it all. The Extension Tree Fruit Team focuses on educational outreach and applied research on three industry priorities, bringing in a next generation of growers from diverse backgrounds, retooling orchards with innovative systems and technologies, and producing high-quality fruit using sustainable management practices. Penn State and, and Extension has really led the way for our family and our operation, uh, but really has made it possible through some research projects and grants that they've gotten uh, for us to have real world in the field uh, demonstrations and training here right on our farm. Penn State Extension is a huge resource that growers need to be using more often to see that how and what to do in fruiting walls or new systems or planting systems that that they're going to be studying for us, which is very um, important. A lot of people were really interested in the fact that this young group of people wanted to learn more and be involved. And so it gave us a, a voice and it gave us a way to learn how to lead and how to be a, a part of, of leading the agricultural community. When I came back to the farm, I didn't realize there was other young growers that were wanting to do farming. Este, el libro que utilizamos para aprender las variedades es el Guía del Campo. El que utilizamos aquí es donde viene toda la variedad y clase de insectos donde estamos aprendiendo para poder mejorar el rendimiento de la manzana. You can come in and you can ask whatever question that you want to ask and it gives you a comfort area to, to just learn and to ask and to be comfortable and that has been very powerful. I wasn't sure initially if I was going to come back to our farm, if I was going to start a, another business or, or maybe get experience in some other form of agriculture and bring that experience back. And so through YGA and transition into ownership for me and, and, and now uh, working with my, my cousin Greg is coming back as well and his transition ownership as well. We worked very closely with the Penn State Extension uh, that has been instrumental in developing both pr best practices and new processes and technologies as well in, in both the orchard and in the pack house. Uh, when I took over the farm from my grandfather, it was all processing fruit and we could not actually pay the mortgage. So we just took a little bit out of every single tour and brought it here and pushed out processing fruit and we are now taking everything to farmer's markets. A, a few years after we put in our first high density planning, we purchased our first labor platform um, it's a uh, piece of equipment that allows for workers to be on both sides, operate independently one from the other, and go up and down doing work throughout the tree canopy uh, independent of the other. Extension puts forth such a, a strong and unified effort to keep the fruit free um, of our most serious pest here, which would be fungal pathogens, uh, followed by insect pests which can be a big problem when they take over especially early in the season. A todos en general aquí en el rancho nos hace sentir bien porque este nos está ayudando a emprender un yo diría un nuevo negocio o está ayudándonos a incrementarnos a este para poder ir hacia arriba que es lo que queremos tratar de si un día podemos hacer nuestro propio negocio pero comenzar con conocimientos y, y este, nos sentimos muy bien trabajar con Penn State, la verdad. Every event that I go to, there's always a good 50 people in attendance and there are always new people uh, that I don't know and we just continue to network and learn and, and there's a solid generation coming in behind us.